100 miles an hour becomes 250 miles an hour, that's all. I just don't want to drop balls, like obviously these proposals and stuff. Like, it's the last thing we should be backed up on, and we are, but quality problem, I suppose. This fucking computer should re fucking restart. Oh man, one of these days we'll freaking do a Facebook Live with like more than five minutes to prepare for it. Calling in, sup Willie, and I'll try to patch it in. If I screw it up, I'm just gonna talk openly and honestly about it. Like, oh, well that fucked up, that didn't work. I don't have time to test anymore. I'm out of time. Four, three. Hello, and welcome to Thursday. Jim? My oh, man. What's up, man? How are you? I'm good, brother. Good to meet you. How you doing? Thanks for- Pleasure, uh, man. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm glad we connected. I was like, oh, there's actually someone else out there doing <laughs> it with intention, and he's, he's, uh, he's, he's growing, so I, that's how I found you. And I thought, you know, I wonder if uh, not only could I thank him, but we could connect and keep in touch on personal brand stuff, but maybe I can re refer or introduce you to people because I just built a national fitness brand and was around a lot of people in retail. Recruits, current athletes, former athletes, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, yep. even your team accounts, all in one dashboard where That's you cool. can see data. They can simply start assigning each piece of content uh, to each athlete. Wow. And they got a gallery on their phone automatically loaded with content relevant to them. That's awesome. You're so, aggregating all of the all of the global content and then you're putting everybody in touch with it who needs it, should use it, giving them exactly. do this, say this, here you go. How often are you seeing stuff like this? Like, cause I, I get it all the time where yeah. because of my content, yeah. people will just naturally want to help me. My expectations have been blown away. Like so even some of the, the stature of some of the people that, that I've connected with and had meetings with are people I'm like, I would have never in a million years thought I would be having this meeting with this yep. person. I've had my, I have a biz dev guy down in New Orleans, at least seven or eight instances where he's cold called up, like a big brand, a big company, gotten on the phone with the CMO or VP of marketing, and they're like, wait, you work with Bold? Oh man, I'm watching all your stuff, bop, 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 bop. Dude, in a meeting, done, game over. I feel like there's different people I can introduce you to in different markets where you might not have a presence yet. And let me know what I can do to help you out, man. Yeah. Connect you with people, like we'll do the podcast. I think that's a good next step. Dude. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and, man, uh, thanks for coming in, man. I it's really appreciate it. All right, let's get out of here. We are headed over to Yahoo. Um, doing a couple of shows, a live show on Yahoo Finance and then another podcast with Daniel Roberts. We're talking about marketing, sports, and a lot about the NFL, being that it's week two. Once again, there's a train ahead of us. Once it clears the area, we will proceed. So the show starts at quarter of... 12, so we'll right. both go in there and sit, but then yeah. the we'll have one, to right? sit for like 12 minutes and wait. Just, oh, okay. And you can like be on your phone, but not right. talk, and we'll be sitting in easy chairs. And then at the end of the show, you know, she'll toss to us and we'll chat. Get down, get down. We are one week into the new NFL season, but there are big questions about ratings, player protests, and domestic violence. How will companies that advertise during football respond. Here to discuss is Yahoo Finance's Dan Roberts along with Brian Cristiano of Bold Worldwide. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Alexis. Hey, Brian. How are you? Good. Good, thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, a lot of noise right now, obviously. Bad ratings for the kickoff night. We haven't seen the ratings for the rest of week one yet. We're waiting to see. Uh, the Ezekiel Elliott case has played out in surprising ways. So a lot of negativity, I'd say, around the start of the season. Do advertisers care about this stuff? Do the companies monitor this closely? Of course, and probably too much, actually, to their detriment. And yeah. so when you're thinking of it in that regard, and you're thinking that Amazon is now streaming multiple games, they're also selling advertising two minutes per game in each one of their streams online. But additionally, they're also figuring out how many people purchase directly from those ads on their site, which is something that's right. never been done before. How should an ad that's going to run on Amazon Prime streaming game look different do you think than just an ad that runs on cable TV unfortunately I don't think we're gonna see much different I think we're really no I think we're just gonna see 30 second or 60 second buys just like you would see in broadcast which is a big mistake maybe someone surprises us and I'm hopeful that they do but I think that's what's gonna happen
happen. But what should be happening is what story can we tell that starts before, during, and after the game that a brand can own that's promoting to go back to and get that depth that you're not going to be able to see in the game. I think the face of the NFL is still Tom Brady, which I know you also love. But but what's happening, I mean, look at J.J. Watt, right? Raised $30 million for Houston. Look at all the attention that he has. Then you have uh, Odo Beckham, right, who's, who's a wide receiver. Um, obviously, he's injured right now, but he's getting a lot of attention as well. Yeah. Third most selling jersey in the NFL. So I don't think that the quarterback owns it. I just think that's the way that it has been. What it really comes down to is personality and their exposure. Mm. And the difference with the NBA and the NFL is the NBA, you've got LeBron, who he has a lot of attention, a lot of personality, and a lot of exposure. And you go back to the NFL and you really realize that either they're out raising, the players are out raising money for charity, or they're in litigation with the Shield. <laughs> Totally. Right. And everyone else in the middle is just irrelevant. All right, guys, thanks so much. Interesting stuff. So you're a... Uh, Go Steelers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's fun. Right. right this way, straight to the podcast. Oh, sweet. Cool. Yeah, okay. Cool. I'm joined today by Brian Cristiano, founder and CEO of Bold Worldwide Ad Agency. Hey, Brian. How are you? Thanks Great. for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Uh, talking NFL and football and advertisers uh, we are speaking in the first week of the season actually as we record this and the ratings were not good for the first night of football what do you think it is with the league I mean when will they realize that people aren't fans of the NFL they're fans of a team but you don't have a NFL jersey that you walk around in <laughs> go shield <laughs> the right. Roger Goodell jersey right. even when they're funny it's not the type of sense of humor I I'm talking about being a little provocative and that's what fans want now. The old, let's take it really super serious. Let's not, you know, ri you know, yeah, football. ruffle any feathers. Yeah, exactly. That those days are those days are gone. Brands continue to just rob engagement, and they just rob the they, they rob and pillage all of the fun that's actually happening. Brands just need to think about that more, more or less, being more of a media company than being an actual like I'm going to tell you what I want you to buy right now. It's uncut. It's raw, um, and that. Give me Derek Jeter, Facebook Live, without the filter of a PR person yes. or the team. Uh, just recently, both announced new live shows on Facebook's watch platform with its mega audience. Uh, what changes are being brought about that can be credited to Facebook? So here's the complaints that I hear all the time. Oh, well, it's taking attention away from television. It's taking attention away from broadcast. So what? So it's the brands that are worried about complaining about it and trying to keep things the way that they are instead of figuring out, well, how do we, okay, if it's taking attention away, how do we jump on this? Yeah, adapt. Adapt. You can still create content and potentially get listed on there. And now you're almost in this searchable TV TV network and it's the early days. All right. Cool, good man. Fun. Awesome. Was that yeah. good? Yeah, yeah great. Fun. That was awesome. Good we, chat. we got into some cool. good love stuff it. there. No bullshit from you, which right? I appreciate. That was awesome, man. I love the fact that we can just talk so openly. This is the fun stuff, this is the cool stuff that does two things. One, it's just like continues to, 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 to make me sharp and think about really like what are we talking about and what really is gonna work for brands. On the other side, it really also just comes down to attention. That's why PR, that's why getting on shows, that's why putting out your own content is so important. Whether you're a startup or this is your first uh, thing that you're doing as an entrepreneur or you're a Fortune 500 company, you really need to just make sure that you get the attention, that you're getting in front of people, that you're telling the real story that is you and letting people know that you know your stuff. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, I think a lot of people wonder like, well, how do you get on Yahoo? And it's really about building a relationship for years, for many, many years. Um, I've been on Yahoo before. And so when it comes down to specific topics, especially sports marketing, um, you usually get thrown in the mix. And so I, I think a lot of people make the mistake in trying to pay for PR. And really what it comes down to is just build the relationships with people, make sure that they know that you know what you're talking about because you have to be legit, one. And number two, um, be a little bit different so that you stand out and say what other people aren't willing to talk about and say. And I think that's my benefit is I don't need to tow a company line. I can just say whatever is real and not what I need my corporation to, to for me to say. Yeah.